Hi everyone, welcome you to this video. In this video, we are going to look at the grammar called regular grammar. In theory of computation, there are four popular grammars we use to consider in the designing of programming languages or compiler design or the kind of system software development or the interpreter development. Among the four popular grammar, regular grammar, context-free grammar, context-sensitive grammar, or phrase-structured or unrestricted grammar, this is one of the grammar called as regular grammar or type 3 grammar. So, when it becomes regular grammar, it takes these three format. One is non-terminal A produces small a terminal. What is non-terminal? What is uh, terminal let us understand non-terminal in the world of compiler design always still be in the form of sentence case or title case every letter of the given word should start with uppercase or it can be uppercase if you look at in this example a is uppercase so it is treated as non-terminal and it is yet another symbol small a it is lowercase all the lower case and alpha, beta, gamma, plus, minus, all such kind of symbols and digits are treated as terminals. When it becomes terminal, let me write digits, comma, lower case letters, lower case letters and all other special symbols. It can be of the form alpha, beta, gamma. So these all are treated as terminals when it becomes non-terminal it should start with capitalized letter or it should start with uppercase letter that are termed as non-terminal and it can be of other form a produces small a capital B non-terminal producing this arrow mark is termed as produces production because of the occurrence of this arrow mark it is said to be production a produces terminal a and non-terminal b and third form this form is a special form called non-terminal produces epsilon epsilon is a special symbol it is treated as null or empty that is doing nothing it is equivalent to doing nothing but it has some impact in designing of the grammar and formal languages. The moment we say formal language, it is useful for developing programming language or computer languages, computing languages. So that is called formal language. Let us see the formal definition of regular grammar. Regular, every grammar in the formal language is denoted with a special symbol called capital G. It consists of four tuple. Tuple in the sense components. It has four components. V is one of the component. T is another component. P is another component. S is another component. Let us see one by one what is it all about. V is set of non-terminals. In a given grammar, we tend to have collection of non-terminal not necessarily to have only one we can have n number of non-terminals so set of non-terminals and t is a terminal set of terminals like a and p is set of productions in a grammar we can have n number of productions or we can have one production also s is the starting symbol let us consider one more grammar capital a produces small b now this is one production let us see the component of this grammar i am freezing the grammar g colon bracket curly bracket of this that's all about my grammar it's a simple grammar so what are all its component let us try to understand capital a it can be replaced by its own derivatives Whatever we are writing in the production on the right hand side, we can replace it by the left hand side symbol. So here A is treated as non-terminal because it is uppercase letter and it produces something. And terminal and non-terminals are disjoint set. Please remember that is a terminal and non-terminal are disjoint set. So there is no overlap in it next and b is terminal and in a given grammar if it 
happens to have collection of productions then the first production left hand side symbol is said to be starting symbol since we have only one production a is into the category non terminal a is into the category start symbol now this start symbol terminal and non terminal together these three component together it is termed as production now production consists of three symbols production equal to it's a component of terminal non terminal and start symbol right now we have these three component and what is regular language regular language is regular it needs to be addressed like this only regular if it can be expressed in terms of regular expressions how to represent regular expression how to write a regular grammar and how to write a regular language we will be looking into the next video now we can consider once again as a recap when we look at the given grammar set or the production set if we happen to see this form non terminal produces terminal non terminal produces terminal followed by non terminal or non terminal produces epsilon either one of this form is permitted to have it into the category called regular grammar or combination of all the three also can form a grammar within the grammar we can have set of productions right now in this example i am eliciting only with one production we can have set of productions then among all those production we need to verify this rule these are all the thumb three thumb rules every production is of the form non terminal produces terminal non terminal produces terminal followed by non terminal or non terminal produces a terminal this also can be considered for example like this combination combination of terminal and non terminal also can be considered and the last form a special form is called a produces epsilon it is a empty or epsilon can be treated as null or it can be treated as empty with that i'm concluding the introduction of regular grammar let us see the problems related to regular grammar in the forthcoming video thank you for watching